Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a nice, quick and easy exponential equation. But before we get into the solution, I want to talk about the general form for these kinds of equations. The general form is going to look like this, and uh, I made a video on this. If I can find that link, I'll try to share it down below. If you find it before me, I'm pretty sure you will. Please share it in the comment section so everybody can check it out. Anyways, so we have this kind of equation, x to the y equals y to the x. And as you know, this has infinitely many solutions. And one of the ways to parameterize, that's a word that I really like, is to use something like y equals kx. Does that give you all the solutions? Probably not, but it gives you infinitely many. Is that enough? Anyway, so here's what you can do. Replace y with kx. And then obviously x equals 0 is not going to be good because on the left it's going to give you 0. On the right, if y is not 0, it's going to give you 1. If y is 0, 0 to the power of 0 is problematic. Forget about it. So that's kind of problematic. So we're going to avoid 0. Okay. And what, what can I do? I can just raise both sides to the power of 1 over x and get rid of these x's. And this gives us something a lot easier to work with. Divide both sides by x x to the power k minus 1 equals k, and then raise both sides to the power 1 over k minus 1, you get k to the power 1 over k minus 1. And of course, since y is what? kx, multiply this by k, it's, it's just going to add 1 to the exponent, and that's going to be k over k minus 1. And you're going to realize this also gives you that y equals x to the power k, which is kind of interesting, right? Because kx is the same as x to the k, therefore uh, y is going to be the same as x to the k. Make sense? Okay, great. So we kind of uh, parameterize the solution, meaning that if you change the values of k, you're going to get infinitely many values. But of course, uh, you want to avoid k equals 1, because for k equals 1, we get x equals y. And obviously, x equals y is always going to be satisfied, except for zeros, right? Cool, cool. So from here, you can find infinitely many solutions. Let's get back to the original problem though. Now we have in this case, so x to the y equals y to the x has solutions like this, but in this case we have y equals 2x, right? And is that going to help us solve the problem? Well, here's the thing. If y is equal to 2x, that means k is equal to 2, right? Because we said y is equal to kx. So this kind of means that k is equal to 2. So can I just replace k with 2 here, what happens, let's see, find, uh, let's find out. Uh, this gives us x equals 2 to the power 1 over 1, which is 2, and then y equals 2 to the power 2 over 1, which is 2 to the power 2, which is 4. Oh, great. We got the solution from this formula right away. But let's go ahead and do it uh, without knowing this general formula. Let's pretend we don't. So we have x to the 2x equals 2x to the x. Let's raise both sides to the power 1 over x to get rid of the extra x. So these are going to cancel out. These are going to cancel out. Remember, x does not equal 0. And from here, we get x squared equals 2x. Awesome. And then we can go ahead and bring everything on the same side. Don't cancel out anything, even though it's not going to matter. Just do this and then take out x. You get two solutions from here, x equals 0 and x equals 2. But remember, caution, x cannot equal 0 which means we end up with a single solution, which is x equals 2. But y is just 2 times that, so y must be 4, and 2 comma 4 is going to be the only solution, and that is the integer solution. And guess what? These are the only integers that satisfy this beautiful, awesome relationship. That's amazing, isn't it? Like you can't find any other pairs of integers that will satisfy this, and this, that's just incredible. Anyways, this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe. Take care and bye-bye.